everybody and welcome to my channel. It has been like two years since our last upload that wasn't just a Twitch VOD. So um, this is a really big deal. And what are we doing today? Well, you've already seen the title of the video. We are doing one of my favorite games. I Well, this one I haven't played yet. But one of the sequel to one of my favorite games of all time, Spelunky 2. Um, we're going to go through the entirety as far as I can get of the game. This is the title sequence. Full disclosure, I've seen a lot of videos of this game. Uh, I'm going to turn it down a little bit for me. This I did boot it up to fix the audio settings, so everything should be good. You guys should be able to hear me and the game and everything. Uh, but everything else should be fresh and new and cool. So we're going to go through as much of this as we possibly can. We're going to talk about a lot of different stuff. Still dizzy from my arrival, I closed my eyes and descended into the darkness. We're going to talk about a lot of stuff, we're going to have a really good time, I hope, and I'm going to play really what should be one of my favorite games of all time, because it is a sequel, it's just more of Splunky, which is great. So, uh, let's start by going to the options, and once we get into a game, I'll start talking about where I've been, what's going on, and Splunky stuff as well. Uh, we're going to go to options, controls, controller configuration. First of all, I'm going to turn off auto run. That's something that I've been uh, tipped to do. Okay, so it's default movement is walk. And Percy is going to be our default pet. I want him instead of Monty because I love cats. I do love dogs as well, but cats are great. So we're going to just do some adventures. We're not going to do any daily challenges or arenas or anything like that for a while. I just want to try to play the game as best I can. We're going to start off as... I do like Margaret, but I think I'm gonna go with Anna. And we're gonna get our nice little tutorial here, I think. So I have seen people play this game. I have not played it yet. Um, so this is all fun and new for, for me, and hopefully maybe for you guys. <clears throat> wow, it's been 15 years since my last entry. So much has happened since I escaped the cave of Olmec with his treasure. Tina and I became parents. We named our daughter Anna. She's a strong kid and a natural explorer. This is a new addition to the game, is these like little rooms that don't actually take you out of the game, like out of the level. They just kind of move you around in it. I am going to kind of skip through the tutorial very relatively quickly because I have played Splunky before and most of the controls are pretty much the same. The dreams began when Anna turned five. I, in the dream, I looked out the window at the full moon and see Olmec's face in it. I tried to ignore it. I mean, we all saw Olmec sink into the lake of lava, didn't we? There we go. Kill that. Get some shinies. I'm just gonna use my torch, because why not? Uh, for those of you who've never seen Spelunky at all before, I would suggest uh, you guys pick up the original game. Although this is just more of the same, basically. More of the same sort of energy and gameplay. So you can pick up the sequel right away. It's not really a story-based game, except for right now, it suddenly has story. Our curiosity was too much to resist. With Colin's help, Tina and I built a spaceship that could take us to the moon. Anna wants to come, but I feel it feels a little dangerous, and I think she should stay and finish the school year. Besides, we should be back before she knows it. There's probably nothing there anyway. I don't know if Tutorial Gold does anything for you. Okay, change my controls with the menu. Drop a little bomb. Get some, ooh, get some little golden nuggets. I love me a golden nugget. It was hard to say goodbye. Part of me wishes we'd brought Anna with us. She loves space and she keep, we keep wanting to show her things on the ship. At least she has Monty to keep her company. Got some ropes. Hello Monty, I'm coming for you bud. I want my torch to go out. Whoa! Okay. Um... It's unbelievable. There's a giant Olmec on the surface of the moon and a cave. A feeling of deja vu swept over us and we were drawn towards the entrance like an iron filling to a magnet. A voice is calling to us. 
Is it Olmec or something else? Well, you can't do it without ruining your torch, huh? Bats are gonna be a real problem in this game. They were a big, real problem for me in Spelunky 1. They're gonna be a real problem for me in Spelunky 2. Once we get out of the story stuff, I'll talk about uh, where I've been, what's going on, and my experience with Spelunky 1. But for now, we've been on the moon for what feels like many months already, but it's hard to tell. Just like before, time and death work differently here. It feels like we've slipped into another crack in the universe, like the cave of Olmec. Connected to it, perhaps, but also bigger. Much bigger. You got the journal. Let's check it out. Anna, if you're reading this, then you've probably guessed that Mom and Dad are somewhere down below, trying to find a way out. I'm sorry, we should have brought you with us. But try not to worry. To be honest, we're having fun. Take your time and don't rush. Remember, it's easier to get hurt if you're not careful. Just remember what we taught you and you'll be fine. This journal is yours now. Make the most of it and we'll see you soon. Happy Spelunkying. Spelunkying. Also, uh, if you guys do know Spelunky 1, you'll know that's the Spelunky guy and that's another playable character, Tina. Uh, is another playable character. They did not have names in the original game, as far as we knew, but uh, in this game they do. Can I can I get out of this menu? There we go. I'll pick up the key. And my torch. Hi, Monty. Look at this, Monty. Don't go in there. So this is a really neat entrance. It's a little bit different than the last one, but very, very, very similar. And we're just gonna get started. Um, so those of you who've never seen Spelunky before, I highly suggest that you actually, like, just watch this video and kind of learn as you go. Uh, basically the main tenets of the game are you place bombs, you place ropes to navigate a level from the top to the bottom, trying to get the damsels, in this case the pets, as well to the exit so that you can get more hearts and survive to the end of the game. I don't actually know what the end of the game looks like. I don't know if there's still Olmec. I don't know any of that stuff, so we're just gonna try to get to the former boss, Olmec, if he's in the game. Oh, that was stupid. That's an arrow trap, friends. Those can be set off with any moving thing. Hi, Percy! Like that. I used the caveman. Totally on purpose. I am gonna have to use a rope, so I'll do that right now. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not going well for me. I'm just gonna try to play as many rounds as possible in like 45 minutes. Um, this is a, ooh, I was not careful. This is a sort of roguelike game where uh, if you uh, die, you can just start right back over and the game is brand fresh and new every time that you restart it. I'm gonna try to use a pot to activate this. No? Use a rock? No, stay here, Percy. There we go! We'll use this little end to activate the other two. So, there's a lot I want to talk about, but this game is very distracting because it's very good. Um, first of all, this is Spelunky 2. So if you guys have been following my channel for a long time, you know that I did in fact play Spelunky 1 on this channel as my second Let's Play. And it was originally me pointing the screen at my, uh, pointing the screen at my Xbox 360 as I tried to play it with, um, I think it was just a webcam or my camera as audio. And it was terrible. But it was, a uh, really fun for me. I had a ooh, I had a really really good time doing it. And uh, I'm already having a really good time playing Spelunky 2. So we're gonna this is called sacrificing. We're gonna sacrifice Percy to Kali in order to get some uh, spike boots. What's over here? Oh okay so we're on the key level. Those of you who haven't watched Spelunky 2 at all will be kind of uh, recognizing some things from Spelunky 1. I am gonna buy paste, and I am gonna buy ropes because I'm about to- oh, I don't have enough for ropes. Well, I am gonna use a rope. 
because I really want that Ujat Eye. So this key goes into this treasure chest over here. And you get this. Uh, we'll look at the journal entry. The Ujat Eye. The Ujat Eye is a symbol of great power. It symbolizes the... It represents the god's watchful gaze. Um, I'm going to move my cat real quick because he is trying to help me with recording. Um, oh, and this is a really cool thing that I want to talk about real quick. So you'll see here there's a bear, a red panda, a man, a uh, fox, and a lion. These are representative of people who were thanked in the credits of the original game, including, I think that's Bear Taffy, Michael Ale Fox, and Northern Lion. I think this is like Man vs. Game and Red Panda Gaming, I believe are all their names. Um, I am big fans of Northern Lion, Michael Ale Fox, and uh, Bear. So, to see them in the game is really cool. Um. Oh, well, that was smart. That was real smart. Okay, that's already been set off. Can I just scare the... Okay, some... What? Did I die? Did it hit me? Bitten by the spider. Okay, we'll restart. Just get right back into it. It'll be fine. But yeah, so I've played Spelunky for a long time, and I am absolute garbage at it. And I continue to be garbage to this day, as you can tell. Um, but this series isn't about being good. It isn't about getting good. It's about just having a really good time with a game that I've been excited for for months. Uh, I didn't even know it was going to come out at all. And then I heard the announcement, and I got so excited because this is... One of my favorite indie games of all time up there with The Binding of Isaac. And, um... So it having a sequel... Uh, die! Die! Come on. Show your face. Try me. Uh, I don't want to mess with the ghost pot. The ghost pot is a new addition. It's this little pot over here. That, uh, you can break. And it will give you... Uh, a very large sum of gold, but it will also bring out the ghost from Spelunky 1. I'm dead because moles. Oh. But again, this is not about being good. This is about having a fun time. And I already am. I am going to take this ghost pot with me. Curse pot. A clay pot filled with exotic substances rumored to be a mixture of ectoplasm and cursed blood. Oh, Jesus. All right. Um, so there's a lot to say. I've, I've been so excited to do this series for weeks now, and so I've actually, like, I have a whole storage of things that I want to say, but this game is very high concentration for me. At least for now. I'm hoping it kind of becomes second nature like Binding of Isaac does and such. Um, but for now, it's a little bit stressful. But yeah, so Spelunky has always been a part of this channel. This channel that is not necessarily alive nor dead. It is Schrodinger's channel. Um, because I'm in grad school. I'm actually about to finish uh, with my master's degree. And uh, that's super exciting. I'm almost done. I'm 90 pages in to a 100 page thesis. Just got a little bit more to write. Um, but... Yeah, so I decided I would treat myself, since I'm so far in the game, I would go ahead and actually play Spelunky for you guys for at least a few videos. We'll see how long I decide to keep this up. And, um, yeah. These videos, I don't know if they'll have a consistent length. I think it'll kind of just be like, when I feel like I'm done with a video, I will end it. Oh, there's a crate up there. Oh, parachute. Okay. They changed the graphic for parachute, so it's different. Oh, well, that's not helpful at all. There we go. Alright, so there is a way down. <clears throat> Nothing in that pot. There is the key. I do see the key. And a shop, it seems. That was dumb. I didn't realize that triggering the... I did not realize that not touching the idol was enough to activate this thing. Uh, but that's okay. We don't need to go over there. It's not like we need the money. What do I have? Uh, let's get the compass, which is more expensive than it used to be, and the paste as well. 
Oh, I hear, I hear Percy. That's another thing in the game is that uh, the cat's name is Percy, but the dog's name is Monty. And Monty is actually the name given to him, I believe, by the streamers that I talked about earlier. It's just kind of a fan name that got really popular in the community and eventually uh, became the official name of the cute little doggo. I am going to sacrifice this thing if I can. Sacrifice this guy. Ooh, I will take that gem. I'm sorry, Percy. Forgive me, my son. Ooh, I got a cape! Cape is very exciting. I'm kind of wasting some time with all this sacrificing, so... I gotta find the... I gotta find the door real quick. I don't see the door anywhere. I do see a crate. Dang it, I don't see the door and I don't think there's a lot of time left before the ghosty comes. So I'm just gonna take this key with me. In the old game, that was important to take the key with you. So maybe that'll be important this time. Sorry if the camera wiggles, my cat has jumped onto the table. other cat. Oh, Jesus. I wasn't looking at all. Let me up, let me up. Uh, I got distracted by my cat! Ah! Uh, okay. Well, that's alright. We're gonna try to get past the mines this video. If I can just get past the mines, I will think that we have done something worthy of uploading. Uh, but yeah. So, I am almost done with my degree. And, uh, what does that mean for the channel? It means not a whole lot, because I can't promise to make more videos, but it does mean that I will definitely try. I'm gonna do that. Just so that I was a little bit safe. Oh, I have to use a rope. That's okay, a compass for a bomb and a rope is not terrible. Um. So, yeah, I might make more videos once I'm actually done and between getting a job and, um, between getting a permanent job and, uh, graduating, I might not. I might stream more. I might not. The problem with streaming is it requires good internet, and at the house that I'm at, I literally, I tried to stream once, and it was an hour delayed, and that's literally the fastest internet I can buy for my house, um, because of where it is. So, it's inconvenient. I don't have enough for a bomb box. We'll take those then. Um, but I don't have good enough internet to stream. Oh, you came out of the ceiling! That's not fair, that's not fair, that's not fair! Ah! I just want this key, I just want this key. Oh, the biggest dupe of the century. Alright. I don't see the key anywhere, or the door anywhere yet. I thought I heard Percy somewhere. I want to take this key with me. What am I doing? We've got an altar. We've got what looks like more of the level. It could be up there, so I'm gonna risk it. Yes, okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna get that Ujet eye. Okay, we got that. That's great. We did not find Percy. I did not. I heard him earlier, but I don't see him now. Just darn shame because there's an altar right here. I'm gonna take this arrow. For that reason alone. Oh, turkeys! Alright, turkeys are a new addition to the game. I don't know if I trust him. There we go, that's safe. So, you hop on him, and just like a horse in Minecraft, you have to get him to like you first. And uh, then you can ride him around, and they, they have this cute little headbutt. Which wasn't enough distance for me. Come here. 
get oh come on I, I have really bad reflexes uh, this game isn't about being good it's about having fun isn't about being good it's about having fun sorry turkey I'm gonna do this because cooked turkey equals health if you didn't know uh, now you know oh Jesus I'm poisoned I don't know how to cure poison I think Percy can cure poison Come here, come here, come here, kitty, kitty. I do want a pot. Come on, please cure my poison. Am I cured? It looks like I'm cured. That's very good. Okay, great. Cure the beating of drums. Well, I ain't going that way. Um. There's other stuff I wanted to talk about. First of all, uh, this video should by now have a thumbnail attached to it. That thumbnail is exquisitely drawn by my friend Albatic, and I'm so happy and proud of it. It is so good looking. Quillback, leader of the cavemen, a big bully who wears a pelt of the last cave porcupine. Okay, I do know a thing here that he can lead you to either path depending on how you do him. We're gonna try to go that path. Here, bud. We're gonna go around this way. We're gonna hop up this and go left path. It's very serious in the caves. Oh, Jesus. Dang it. I'm dead, I'm dead. All right, let's do one more. That's the furthest I've ever gotten. Let's do one more of this video, and then we'll we'll call it good. Um, there is a crate right off the bat, which is fun. Good, he activated that thing for me. I am very lucky. Oh, a cape in a box. That's very exciting. I heard Percy a second ago. I do want a little gold. I'm not super gold hungry in this game, but a little gold is practically required. There he is. Please don't blow up the cat. Yay! Alright. There we go. Uh, yes, so the thumbnail is drawn by my friend. You can commission her or see more of her work at the links in the description. Um, the game is made by the amazing Moss Mouth team and a couple other... Uh, there, you saw the... I think we saw together the introduction uh, scroll. And if we get to the credits, I will definitely show them. I just don't think we'll ever get there. Because I'm not intending to go until I win. This is a go until I feel like I've had a really good time, sort of thing. I heard Percy, he's down there. We can get to him down there. Hey, you. Turkeys! Come here. No, no! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good job, good job, turkey. Turkeys have a double jump, I believe. I don't know if all the rideables do, but... How do I get off of the turkey? There we go. Oh, sorry, Percy. I'm learning. I'm just learning. I'm actually gonna do this, because I want a safer way to go down. Oh, well, I hit the turkey, but it didn't hit Percy, which is all that matters, really. I'm gonna wait for this caveman to wake up and kill him. I like the cute little birds about their head. Boop. One more hit should do it. Come on, wakey wakey. I ain't got all day, there's a ghost after me. Um, oh, Jesus! I killed my turkey. Uh, I do want... What do I want? Oh. 
There's another one. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to mess with it. I'm gonna die if I keep messing with it. We're gonna move on. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. You can't win every single turkey. Okay, there's not really anything in that pot. There's a little piece of gold. I did see it, but uh. Oh, come on. I was. Oh, I forgot I had paste. That's good, though. Good job, me. Uh, hold on. You stay here. You can walk on spikes sideways. You just can't jump onto them, by the way. Come here, Percy. I just want to see what your wares are. A power pack! Present, a hover pack, and a camera. Nothing I can afford, and I don't kill shopkeepers. So... Can I afford anything yet? I don't think so. Darn, I really wanted that power pack. But yes, this is relatively a pacifist run. I try not to kill shopkeepers. Um, so I guess I make it hard mode on myself. I guess, in some people's eyes, but uh, in my eyes, it is way better to just keep them alive and not have to deal with them than to steal their wares. I hate- I hate you, I hate you, I hate you! Come on, come on. Oh well. Um, what else can I tell you about life and things? So, uh, like I was saying, I can't really stream from this house. It is basically impossible to stream from this house because of my terrible, terrible internet. I have paste. I could kill you. Hey, big guy. Big guy. Hey, 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 hey. Look at me over here. Okay, we're gonna call it a video. <laughs> so this has been super fun. I am gonna make a few more. I'm gonna stay here just today and just record a bunch of them. So there isn't going to be a lot of um, stuff from your guys' comments. I'm just gonna record a bunch of them, edit them, put them up on YouTube. Hope you guys enjoy them and maybe I'll make more. Maybe I won't. It depends on how busy I'm gonna be with the book, but yeah, or with the paper that I'm writing. So. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll talk a lot more next video. Percy, be quiet. <laughs> and, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see the next videos. And give it a like, please, if you really did like it. It really helps with everything. And I have a really small channel, so every like is helpful. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.